Hey folks, a mild evening across the valley. Spring, of course, officially began early this morning, so we're uh, about 12 and a half hours into it, and temperatures still above average. 81 in Port Isabel, same thing in Raymondville, 82 Harlingen, and Westlaco. Brownsville's at 80, the cool spot right now. Rio Grande City at 90. Overnight, readings are going to drop down into the upper 60s, and that's about it. That's a little above average for this time of year, but only about three or four degrees. And then tomorrow afternoon by four o'clock, we're back in the upper 80s again. Some places will probably touch 90 in the west. A little cooler in the lower valley, Cameron County, Harlingen, Brownsville, 84 and 82, about 73 at the beach. Go into Wednesday morning, same thing. We start in the 60s and warm back into the 80s again. A few places in the west might touch 90 again on uh, Wednesday. And Thursday, it's yet another day, very similar. We start in the 60s and warm back into the 80s and get close to 90 again. Average for this time of year is 81, and we're going 87, 86, 87, so just a little bit above normal, but the records won't be threatened at all. The 97 and 99, those are safe for a while. Satellite and radar across deep south Texas is very quiet today. Hard to find a cloud anywhere. Future Track says it stays that way overnight. Skies stay mainly clear. Patchy low clouds show up first thing in the morning, but they burn off quickly. Breezy conditions again tomorrow afternoon with Plenty of sunshine again. Tomorrow night skies stay mainly clear. Again, some patchy low clouds early, but by afternoon we're back to mostly sunny. And Thursday morning starts with patchy low clouds and maybe some fog. And by afternoon back to partly to mostly sunny skies again. What you're seeing is just more of the same. No fronts in the vicinity at all. Nothing else to push any weather our way, so we just stay dry. Uh, really for the next several days. We see a very slight chance for a shower on Friday, but we're talking less than 10%. Look how warm it is across all of Texas. 89 all the way up into the Panhandle. Odessa at 92 tonight. Abilene's 87. Del Rio's 86. Laredo at 88 degrees. A very warm March day. First day of spring across the state of Texas. Front in the state making absolutely no difference whatsoever. It's hanging out way to the north. So we continue to have southeasterly winds and breezy conditions for tomorrow. Again for Wednesday, there's those low clouds that form in the morning and burn off in the afternoon. And Thursday, you see the same thing. A lot of clouds early, but by afternoon, those go away. A front pushes across Texas on Friday. That front might trigger some thunderstorms well to the north of us, and there's a very, 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 very slight chance, less than 10%. Something could sneak in here Friday, but at this point, that looks to be an unlikely scenario. Instead, we should be dry again. If you're headed to the beach, operators of small craft urge to use caution. It's a little windy in the morning. Southerly winds at about 20. Your air temperature at 75 degrees in the morning. The surf temperature 74. Rip current risk is low. The UV is very high. Tomorrow evening's temperature about 72 degrees at the beach. Here are your tides. Low tides 357, a high tide 201. Seas 2 to 4 feet. The bay is rather choppy. The bay temperature is at 73 degrees. So for tonight, looks like we'll be another mainly clear night, a mild night, about 66 for your low. Southeasterly winds, not much more than about 6 to 12 miles an hour. Then tomorrow, plenty of sunshine again. It'll be breezy again. Southeasterly winds, your high temperature tomorrow afternoon climbs back up to 87. Once again, so we go 87, 86, 87, nighttime lows in the upper 60s, plenty of sunshine the next three days, very little threat of rain. Again, you're talking less than 10% on Friday, not even worth posting in there. Saturday up to 90, and then Sunday 85 and Monday 89, plenty of sunshine through the forecast period. And again, very little chance of rain anytime soon. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.